The Dow touched a record high during Monday's trading session. Trader Michelle Schneider, the chief market strategist at Market Gauge, is here with a look at the market action. Mish, hard to believe this is the final trading week of August. Well, it's, well, first of all, the last week of August isn't always the best week. So it, anything could happen. And of course, we've just gotten through so much news. Obviously, the biggest highlights being uh, the Jackson Hole speech, and it looks like September rate cut is maybe priced in at this point. So right now, I feel like we have to watch the same risk factors that we've always watched, right? The market climbs on the wall of worry. And I would say the three things would be, number one, would still watch the long bonds. And even though the TLTs have been holding, they haven't broken the very important 100 level. If they do, I don't know if I would necessarily be so excited about the market because that's a risk-off situation. Number two is we still have to watch the economic modern family. And yes, it's been impressive, the rally that we've had after that huge dump day a couple of weeks ago, which seems like ancient history. But none of them have even gotten close to the July high yet. And so that tells me that this is still a rally into resistance despite what the Dow is doing. Middle East still seems like a powder keg. And if oil prices go crazy, along with gold being at new all-time highs and silver starting to make a move, then we could be looking back again at some rising inflation. What's better for you, buying the dips or buying the rallies? And what stocks do you like here, Mish? I'd rather be a buyer of dips here than uh, a buyer on rallies or strength. But a couple of stocks still have my interest here. Um, one is Rivian, which um, we were buying on the way down, and now uh, it's it's heading back over $14. It hasn't been able to get back over 15 so I think that would be a good one to add or get into over 15 They've had their earnings and all that's out of the way. And the other is actually more of a stronger stock. It's Electronic Arts. It's been consolidating between 145 and 150 um, It looks, if the market holds up, that looks like that could be right for another move up. That's EA. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Ange. Go to businessfirstam.com.